Hello everyone, welcome to the review to the 24 Pro from XP Pen. Uh, we will test this tablet by the best way possible and that's doing art ourselves. So we have, as you can see here, a lot of manga from Full Metal Alchemist. And we will choose the best scene to add inking work and then colors, shadings and some highlights. We're going to make a full work and uh, we will have fun by uh, doing it. All right, let's go. So we have chosen this scene here. We'll add some line art and colors, shadings to the scene. Uh, we'll add some life to it. All right, cool. The, ch the scene has been chosen. Uh, let's speak a little bit about uh, the first impression when you hook it up to your uh, computer. I would say the display is pretty much impressive and especially with the 2K resolution. I love how color accuracy work in, on that uh, graphic tablet and the brightness is, is just so rich. It gives you such a nice, rich experience. Now let's check how Photoshop looks like on this tablet. Now it's one of the things that, it's very, that are very important to me is how much space of drawing I have. Now I went with the 2K because uh, it simply gives, you, gives me much more space since the user interface is much smaller for more pixels. Now to, ma to make that happen actually, you need to change the settings and that's as simple as going right click, display setting on Windows 10, um, if the camera can focus, and you can choose here, down here, on the graphic tablet to make it on 100%. If can, if the phone can... Ah, I think you saw it, guys. It comes uh, uh, on 125% as recommended. I myself like to work on 100%. All right, so I will work on this piece. I will start with the line art. And um, we will see what... Uh, I notice and um, yeah, let's key, let's start. Now, one of the most common issues with the uh, graphic tablets is um, how w when you make fast lines like this, one of them gets. Now, in my case, uh, my laptop is uh, under a lot of pressure because it's recording as well. Uh, but as you can see, there's not a lot of difference between the lines. Now, I will go extra fast uh, with my with my lines, and I will go like something like this. But uh, this is so good. I mean, it's almost too good. Yeah, it's so good so far. I see no no failure on my side. It's pretty smooth. Really enjoy this drawing experience with this tablet. Really enjoy how fast I can put the lines here. This can help a lot with the workflow. It's actually much healthier to draw on a screen in that position where you can hold the pen like this. And this is the proper way to hold the pen. I really enjoy the space I'm working in here. Drawing that hair. Or redrawing it, giving it some ink work here to be able to color it. If you're maybe considering using this graphic tablet as a monitor i totally recommend it as a main monitor as well um, it has 60 uh, refresh rate uh, the color accuracy is more than amazing the size is great the resolution is 2k for me it was a huge upgrade um, yeah so i totally recommend it as a monitor as well if you're uh, also used to do other stuff uh, on the side, like editing videos, the timeline would show in an extreme nice fashion um, and will help you a lot. Yeah, so the size of the monitor is very helpful for drawing, especially when you want to draw healthier, let's say if you have back problems, if you have shoulder problems, hand problems, like I do, I personally have hand problems for holding the pen in the wrong way for a long time and for drawing a lot with the mouse and and just, uh, you know, it was pretty hard for me. Anyway, back to the tablet. Um, here while I was adi adding some colors, um, the accuracy was just great. Uh, my hand's still not used to it, um, but 
I, I would never just color uh, add colors like that. I would always use the pen tool, but I was more than comfortable using the brush like that and adding the shades, um, meaning painting basically with the graphic tablet. Uh, I can't I can't describe how good it is for the price more than expressing it in this video already. It's just a good buy. Um, check it out guys if you if you're looking for a Wacom um, I won't say the latest Wacom uh, replacement but if you were willing to buy a Wacom from 2016 to 19 or 18 I would totally recommend this one here the XP pen 24 it's just great by adding those details it felt very much fun never had so much fun painting uh, before and upgrading to this great monitor is just was just a lot of fun for me it allowed me to create such a nice piece here and it can you, you can go from drawing from adding huge details as we saw in the video to adding those small details very easily and very fast this is uh, the, the responsiveness of this uh, graphic tab is just it's just at on point. I can't describe it even more better than this. Totally a good buy. And uh, if you are uh, considering it, go for it right now. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching this video. If you want to check the final piece of this art, uh, check the link in the description. Thanks for watching. If you want to see me review more devices for artists, please support me and subscribe to the channel. Share this video with someone that you think might be interested uh, leave your uh, comments uh, below if you want a special device to be reviewed or if you have any questions please uh, write them down and I'll try my best to answer them if you want to check my art and support me there's my patreon and the link below of this video there will be a link to my Instagram uh, page uh, filled with my art so I hope you guys can subscribe to it and uh, see you in the next video indeed.